is the 3rd of January 2025 and in today's video, well right now we're looking down on Australia where things are heating up in Melbourne down in the southeast. But I'm going to start off by checking in on the snow business for this weekend over the UK and Ireland and then move on to maybe that big weather system that was throwing surf at Hawaii and what else? I don't know. Lots more stuff. Before we get started looking at Bridget Europe, let's just mention a bit about the timing so that things are clear on here. This is windy and down in the bottom left is the time in UTC time. So at this time of year, that is the same as UK time. The other time is Australia time. So that's set to my computer because I'm broadcasting from Melbourne, Australia. So focus on the smaller time here for UK time. The nights of this weekend are going to be bitterly cold in the Alps and into the Balkans. These are the surface temperatures. I'll just put a pin in there. Minus 12 right now. In the Alps and as we move forward we go into Friday night time here you see temperatures are actually going down to minus 20 in the mountains of the Alps but also in the valleys be super cold over in the Balkans also really cold we'll see those temperatures I think they drop even further as we head into Saturday night let's just check that well it's pretty pretty cold but let's check in on the UK and Ireland and this snow potential snow event this weekend. And I recommend just checking back to yesterday's video. I'm just going to touch on it today, but it goes into more depth yesterday. Right now we're in this northerly airflow, snow showers coming down the North Sea. But as we go into the weekend, we've got a weather system moving in from the southwest. It's going to hit that cold air, bring snow into Ireland first, Wales and then into North England and Southern Scotland. And the totals are pretty large. And as a pr pr because the system moves past to the south and doesn't actually progress north through the whole nation, it actually doesn't bring that mild air across the whole area. So the north of England and into Ireland, that all stays in the cold, snowy air. So it snows for a long period of time, building accumulations mainly over the inland areas and over the hills but also there is some at low levels too i'm going to focus in on north england and southern scotland because that is the area that looks like it's going to have the snow really maintain at depth for a long period of time right now this is the european center model view for 18z so this is actually 6 p.m on saturday at this point the snow is coming in it's all over Ireland and into Wales. So we move forward and we're going towards midnight, Saturday midnight, Saturday, Sunday midnight. You've got the snow coming in and there you see it's already snowing across Northern England, Southern Scotland, Ireland too. And then it just keeps snowing. It goes on and on and on. And we're now at 9 a.m. on Sunday. The snow continues, continues. It actually gets even heavier over the interior of northern England. And this is now looking at Sunday afternoon. You see down there it says 15 UTC, so 3 p.m. Sunday. And it continues, continues, and continues. And it only really clears out by the time we get to 3 a.m. on Monday morning. So this is a really prolonged period of of snowfall that just keeps going for northern England, southern Scotland. So how much snow does that actually pick up over that period of time? Well, this is the total snow accumulation for the period from right now to Tuesday, next Tuesday. And you can kind of make out the hot spots being across Ireland, where there's 40 centimeters, and then central northern England over 40 centimeters as well on top of this as the storm system moves in there's going to be strong winds so expecting a lot of drifting i think this is going to be a quite highly disruptive event with potential for road and rail blockages particularly i would say through this region 
God, we've got Leeds in there. So particularly that interior kind of northern England into southern Scotland region. And this shows the actual snow depth of the snow on the ground. So this accounts for when it melts. And as we go through into Saturday, you're going to see and Sunday. So in Saturday, you see the snow picking up. We've got snow cover across most of Ireland, most of central to northern England, Wales, Scotland. And then the snow melts as the milder air comes in, but it continues to snow in the north. And this is the key thing. So the north of England into central Ireland are all maintaining that snow cover at some depth. Let's just check those depths in the European Centre model. So about 26 centimetres there in the interior. And then the cool air returns and we see a little bit more accumulations down to the south. But the thing is that that northern snow remains for a long period of time. And I'm going forward all the way to 15th of January and you can already you can still see snow cover predicted for northern England, some of that remaining. The Met Office currently have a whole bunch of yellow warnings for snow and ice in various areas of the UK, mainly concentrated in the north of Scotland and through the west. But let's just check Sunday, which is kind of the key day, and you see there's a really broad area. I think they are probably going to upgrade this to amber warnings and we'll see if it goes all the way to red, but probably amber at least. We'll check it tomorrow. Snow has also reached northern Africa into the high mountains of the Atlas. If we zoom in here, it should load in the Sentinel-2 imagery from the 2nd of January. There it is. And this shows the Atlas Mountains with a nice, beautiful covering of snow. There we go. check in on this storm system that moved through Japan and then brought in I mean it's just enormous this thing so this is actually back on the 31st of December this is the 1st of January and this shows the storm system pulling out from to the east of Japan and then in the behind it Hokkaido up here gets blasted by really cold air off Russia if we go forward it becomes <laughs> It becomes even bigger and then this is sending large picking up a really strong fetch of winds that is sending large surf towards hawaii and i believe that they are going to be issuing high surf warnings for really large waves on the north coast of oahu and the other islands but yesterday on the 2nd of january looking at that really cold air behind this storm system off to the east over Hokkaido there were the typical kind of snow showers forming off the Sea of Japan bringing heavy snow and snow showers into western Hokkaido but there was also this sort of polar lowish type system off here and this is a small smaller scale low pressure system I mean compare the size of that one to this monster I mean <laughs> pretty big difference so I actually just want to see where this comes I think it kind of spun off Sacklin by the way this is the sea ice coming down on the side of Sacklin Island but yeah I really want to check out what this actually looks like animated so I'm going to do that now yeah that's kind of great because I thought that was coming down from the north that low pressure system but it's actually moving towards the east from the west you can see it spiraling off in the southern sea of Okox, I guess that is. So I wonder where that actually came from. It must have formed in the channel between Sakhalin and Hokkaido. A really uh, cool looking system. Here's another view of it a little bit later than that earlier Terramotis static image. This is the NOAA 20 VERS image of the system with Hokkaido down here and Sakhalin up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to produce a proper full animation of this little storm system. I'll put it on the Twitter and threads and blue sky U storm pages. You should be able to find those links 
in the video description. Alright, that's enough of that cold, horrible northern hemisphere up there. Actually, I kind of wish I was there in the snow, but let's have a look at where I am down in Australia because things are hotting up once again. These are the temperatures this evening. It's gotten up to about 26. Pretty pretty cool, pretty mild. But as we go into Saturday, temperatures really pick up and looks like it's getting up to the high 30s on Saturday. And Saturday night looks to be pretty rough, pretty, pretty hot. It doesn't really dip down that much. Still 23 in the middle of the night. And then Sunday, I think, is a dash hotter. Looks like it is getting up to about 38. Put a little pin on pin in here to see. Doesn't look like it's going to get into the 40s. Like it. I think it just touched into uh, about a week or two ago. But yeah, pretty darn hot. And then the cold change moves in on Monday. We get down to more reasonable temperatures pretty dramatic drop as that air comes in off the southern ocean so on that note i will leave it for today because i gotta put this video together and see you in the next one